Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. I'm at the Fleet Farm in West Bend, Wisconsin, and we're filming the annual highlight show, and we'll be giving away our grand prizes to the Fleet Farm Fishing Contest winners. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, we're at the Fleet Farm store in West Bend, Wisconsin. First of all, I'd like to wish all of you a very happy new year. This is our 31st annual highlight show. We're going to take a look back at all the big fish that we caught in 2022. And I've got my buddy Brian Sticka with me today. And Brian, this is the 23rd year that Fleet Farm has had the fishing contest. Sure is, John, and this year I'm really excited. We've got some good uh, prizes from some really good sponsors. Well, we've got seven categories. We're going to pick a grand prize from each category, and it, like you said, we've got great prizes, and um, this is a fun deal. It sure is, and I look forward to it every year. Hey, folks, we'll have our first winner and our first grand prize. All that coming up right after this. So here I am with Amsoil Tech Man Genius Len Groom. And Len, you know, I run gas now, but I had several diesel trucks and I used to use the cold flow product all the time. The only time I ever experienced gelled fuel was when I forgot to use it. What can somebody like me do in that case or somebody else that's got gelled fuel? How can they fix it? Well, we've got a ton of additives, as you know. You've used a lot of them, but one that you haven't had to use would be this diesel recovery product, Pete. This is the one that's going to get you out of jail free. Because if you leave it at the boat landing or you leave it parked somewhere remote and the thing gels up on you, this product will take care of that. It'll get in there, it cuts through that gelled up diesel fuel, it causes it to get back into a real nice liquid state, and it will get that truck started. So it's Amsoil Diesel Recovery in case you forget to treat it. For those 30 below mornings, check out Amsoil.com. Meet Chris McGillis of McGillis Weimer, experienced personal injury lawyers. A lot of the people that watch your show, I mean, those are the type of customers and clients that we have, right? I mean, good people care about their community. They're passionate about the outdoors. That's just been a way to have a bond with somebody in a relationship. To truly tell a, a client's story to a jury or a judge and be persuasive, I really think you got to be able to walk in their shoes and, and, and be able to explain why what happened to them matters. Welcome back, folks. As we talked about at the top of the program, this is our 31st annual highlight show. We're going to start out with some of our highlights from last year. In the Great Lakes, we had some tremendous fishing. Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, Lake Erie. Our best day came in November when we caught 24 lake trout in about two hours of fishing. <laughs> John, I don't even know what to say. Well, you don't have to say anything. Just enjoy your uh, catching lake trout one after another. This is beautiful. <laughs> well, while Henry's battling that one, I've now got one on. Look at that. Are you getting close there yet, Henry? We're getting close. All right, yeah, yeah, Henry's getting close. I'm not. Look at that. <laughs> Get him in that clamor. Okay. Okay. You got one. Right. Henry, nice job. Thank you. I'm still working back here. I got one. 
Blake's got one and I'm working one. Fresh Holy everywhere. moly. All right. Okay, mine. Blake. Uh, mine's still staying down, so you get oh, yours right. in. This <laughs> one's in. Hey, Blake, are you happy up there? I'm having a blast and a half. <laughs> Blake's got hers. Henry's got hers. And here comes mine. Turn them this way a little bit. I'm trying, buddy. I'm trying. All right, he's he, in. Oh, he's got a mind of his own. I have never seen anything like this. <laughs> no, this is as good as it gets. I mean, it's absolute chaos in the boat. Everyone Everyone's got a fish on, you know, yeah. we need another net pretty much. Wow, John, that was some really good action. The best I've ever had in my entire life on the Great Lakes. Okay, this is the Great Lakes category. And folks, we picked out the top five winners in the Great Lakes. We got Chinook in there, Lake Trout, Brown Trout, etc. And now it's time for Brian to pick the grand prize winner in the Lake Michigan category. And we have, oh my gosh, take a look at that. That was a lake trout caught by Todd Nelson of Walker, Minnesota, 41 inches long, caught on Lake of the Woods on a Reaper jig. Okay, folks, we have seven grand prizes here in our grand prize bucket. Let's see what old Todd Nelson of Walker, Minnesota wins this year. Oh, this is a great prize. This is a Kalen summer package. And of course, we use a lot of Kalen's plastics on the show. Uh, there's a bunch of little Cleos in there, a sweatshirt. This is a $250 value. So that's what Todd Nelson wins, the Kalen summer package. Before we move on to the panfish category, Brian, I wanted to ask you this question. Generally, what is the philosophy of Fleet Farm towards the Midwest outdoorsman? Oh, we, well, first of all, we try to talk to them and see what they're looking for. Um, and then we try to put the product in the stores that they need for them for the Midwest. So um, what we do that other retailers don't is we can put Great Lakes store, uh, Great Lakes products in our Great Lakes stores, walleye product in our walleye stores, and that makes us different from everyone else that are, you know, the bigger places can't do that. Plus the fact that you guys hunt and fish, you know, then you know what the guy needs. All right, the panfish category. We've got some awfully big fish in here, Brian. I want to make sure I get them all in there. We got giant crappies, giant perch, giant blue all right, the panfish winner of the Fleet Farm Contest this year is Brent Emmons of Jefferson, Wisconsin, a 15-inch perch. He caught that on the Mississippi River using a night crawler. Now, let's see what Brent wins. And Brent wins. Boy, this is a nice prize package. This is from Johnson Pump. He gets a wash down kit, which is awesome for cleaning off your boat or your pontoon or your pier. He also gets an aeration kit. That's the best in the business where you can convert a bucket into an, like a live well. It's awesome. And a sweatshirt. So congratulations to Brent Emmon. We had a pretty good year for panfish too, folks. Starting out with Brett Jolly on the Bay of Green Bay for Big Perch last Last June. All right, there we go, Anello. Here he comes. Take, here he take comes. Take him out to the side a little. There, there. Oh, there. oh my gosh, that's amazing, buddy. <laughs> that's insane. Look, Look at that. One. And you're doing, you're guiding this every day. Yep. Yeah, yeah, the whole month of <coughs> June, July, I'm pretty much booked solid on perch. Now another we here. got them on all over the we place. Got another one. Jolly, hey, even the captain gets the real one in. <laughs> Look That's at a the big size one. of that. That is a mongo, buddy. There's plenty of those 10 to 12s. They're right. great eating. But once you start getting into that 13 and a half, 14 range, they don't taste quite as good. Um, but you know, this one is kind of right on the border and there, but relief. yeah. Then just a couple of weeks ago, we were up in northern Minnesota fishing for bluegills, and my buddy Josh got his biggest bluegill ever. Josh is quietly over here on the fringe having a good time. This is a nice one. Uh, but they're all, I can't believe the average size. Let's see what we got here. Here he comes. Oh, oh my, oh my oh gosh. My <laughs> Look at that. That's bluegill. Insane. That is awesome. That's, that's over 10, guys. That's yeah. for sure the biggest bluegill I've ever caught in my life. In your life? No doubt. <laughs> wow. And what is that on there? That's just on the Acme Tungsten. As we move on to the bass category, this is kind of interesting. You know, last spring we ran the Fish with John Gillespie contest and we took two of the winners up to Shaguamagon Bay to fish for a smallmouth and he caught the two biggest smallmouth he ever caught in his life. I bet he was a happy winner. He really was. Kyle, Sergeant Schultz, he's got one on there now. <laughs> oh, big smallie. Oh, big look smally. at this, look at yep. this. Look at that. That oh. is a giant. 
Don't lose them. Don't lose them. Nice. All right. Oh, Kyle. <laughs> that is a beautiful <laughs> fish. Thank you. Well, congratulations, Kyle. <laughs> Thank you. What do you say to your fifth graders? Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Kyle's Ooh. got one in the big it's windstorm. Way to go there, Kyle. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at the size of that largemouth bass. That, get him in that clamor. Get him in that clamor. Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kyle. Look at the camera there, buddy. Yeah. Is that your now? Oh. Yesterday you caught your biggest yeah, I got smallmouth him. ever. Yes. Oh. oh, this is by far, by far largest. That is a gorgeous <laughs> fish. Yeah. Oh, Josh, oh that God. is a beauty. What is that, buddy? That's for sure five pounds. Five. I mean, it's oh a yeah. Three spawn Easy. Female. That's for sure five pounds. Boy, that is six. gorgeous. What happened there, Kyle? I honestly, it hit the water. I cast it out and one jerk and it slammed it. And folks, we're going to have the Fish with John Gillespie sweepstakes again this year. Other big prizes involved in that too. But uh, where can people find out? Oh, when our spring catalog comes out in March. Okay, they'll get more information. Okay, we have a lot of big smallmouth and a lot of big largemouth bass in the bass category here, Brian. And I'm going to put all of those in there and shake that up. And you, stick us picks. Is that what we're calling it? Sticks Stick, picks. It's sticks picks. John. Sticks picks. All right. The big bass this year, the winner of the big bass category is Lynn Bavilars of Oshkosh, Wisconsin. 23 inch smallmouth bass caught on Round Lake on a paddle tail. That is a beautiful fish, isn't it? That is a big smallie. All right, Brian, let's see what Lynn wins for that big old smallmouth bass she caught. Ooh, Lynn wins a $500 gift card from Blackfish. And Blackfish makes wonderful outdoor gear for sportsmen. Their storm skin is excellent. Summer UV wear is excellent. And they make great rain gear. A $500 gift card for Lynn. I'm here with Thane at the Clam headquarters in Rogers, Minnesota. And the Ice Armor by Clam has a wide variety of handwear, don't you? Absolutely, Blake. We like to say once again, we've got something for everyone in our, in our Ice Armor glove and mitt selection. Uh, whether it's ice fishing or any other winter activity, if you're gonna be outside and it's cold, we're gonna have a glove or a mitt for you. Anything from something with very little insulation to some of our warmest gloves. We've got stuff for different types of activities, so if you need a lot of dexterity in your hands, we've got gloves for that. Women's gloves, yeah. youth gloves, Blake, we've got it all. Well, I know for sure I'm only going to be wearing the Ice Armor by Clam gloves all winter long. For more information, go to clamoutdoors.com. They say great minds think alike, which could explain why for over 50 years, more anglers have chosen Humminbird to see the water more clearly. Our tech predicts where the bites are, and our innovations foreshadow the sport's future. We've helped anglers win tournaments and the weekend, taught them to fish smarter, not harder. So if you're not already on board, it's worth asking yourself why, when the people in the know agree that Humminbird is simply clearly better. Folks, taking a break in the fishing, it's always fun to introduce products that will really, really help you out. This is the Johnson Pump Portable Aeration System, and what is really cool about this, it keeps your minnows really alive. Listen to this. I mean, that is like having a bait shop on the water. And you know something, Wes? Our competitors just put bubbles into the water. We actually are providing oxygen. Correct. We're forcing oxygen down in the water, which gives the bait oxygen, and it also removes the CO2, allowing the bait to take in that oxygen, which keeps them alive and lively. What I like, too, is I, a lot of times, will transport large amounts of bait a long distance. So this can be put on a cooler system or in your boat? Yeah, John, I'm not handy at all. And I, in less than an hour, I converted this clam bucket into a complete bait well. Folks, what I love about Fleet Farm is they have everything the Midwest angler needs and more, and it's all at a great price. You even have exclusive colors. Now, these are the Flicker Shads, really cool looking colors. How do you come up with this, Brian? We work with our guides and um, a lot of the fishermen that we fish with. And then we also uh, work with Berkeley. Uh, their research team helps us uh, identify some colors that aren't on the market. We always have new, exciting colors that no one's seen before. And again, Fleet Farm is the only place you can get them. One of my favorite categories, folks, is the other category, and that is carp, 
sturgeon, suckers, etc. Our big other fish this year, Blake caught on the Wisconsin River. All right, Blake. We've Looks like a big lake. fish. <laughs> Whoa, look at that rod going. You think this is a big old cat here, well, man? Well, I don't know. If it is, it's a huge one. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> All right, Blake. Wait a minute. Hey, that brings you back to your musky days. Yeah. That's very true. All right, just keep pressure on it. What do you do here, man? Just you, just keep you just keep pressure on it. I don't even know what we have yet here. <laughs> and those eagle claw circle hooks, all you got to do is do a sweep hook. Set no on. hooks set. Yeah, just, just, just real. Now on these. Oh my gosh, ah! sturgeon! Oh my gosh, it's, oh sturgeon. it's a sturgeon! Oh my gosh! Easy, okay, easy. Blake. Okay, Blake. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, you had him there for a second. It's a sturgeon, Blake. You gotta be careful. You don't. Oh my here God. we go. Here we go. Head towards me if you can. I know it's hard. Well, not oh. yet. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on, Blake. Head Get in, head it, lift them up. One more, Blake. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Nicely done. Oh, you All did the right. next one. Boy, that was a that hard fight. <laughs> that was and, awesome, though. And, Matt, this is part of the mystique of this river is when you, you never don't know. know what you're going to catch. You never you? know. It could be something different every single time. And I those are tough fish, folks. You can keep Absolutely. out of the water a while and do that scan and everything. Yep. It's a dinosaur. This is the other category, folks, in the Fleet Farm Contest. And I'm going to put all those in there. We got big sturgeon. We got carp. We got suckers, sheep's head, etc. And let's have the winner of the other category for 2022. And the winner is Colleen Colsey of Cary, Illinois. She caught this 41 inch catfish on the Fox River. She was using a jig and a minnow. That looks prehistoric, doesn't it? It sure does. <laughs> I mean, that's big, buddy. All right, let's see what Colleen wins. And Colleen wins. Oh, this is a nice prize from Beaver Dam, makers of the best tip up around. She gets a tip up, a rod and reel combos, a sweatshirt. That is a great package from Beaver Dam, is it not? It sure is, and those heavy-duty tip-ups can handle that big catfish. When you're going fishing, I love to stop at Fleet Farm for everything I need. I mean, I love your snack category. you got great clothes, all the kind of lures you want, but you also have live bait. Yeah, we do, and you know, right now for the winter, we have butterworms, which is my favorite. Um, we have waxworms and spikes. I mean, that's great. You get everything done at one time. All right, northern pike category. I'm going to put these in. We got some big old pike. I think the biggest one in here this year is 48 inches. So the winner in the northern pike category in the Fleet Farm Contest this year is... Kendra Hamill of Cato, Wisconsin, caught this incredible 48-inch northern pike on Gull Rock Lake in Canada. She was using dead bait. I'll tell you, that's a once-in-a-lifetime fish. What does Kendra win for that big old northern pike? Boy, this is a great prize from Clam. $750 value. She wins a Hub C560 Thermal Shack, two Katana Rod and Reel Combos, and a $100 gift card. Congratulations, Kendra. We had some great pike fishing too this year. One of our bigger pike was caught by our buddy Josh Tigan on Chiguamagon Bay. Yeah, this is a big fish. Is it really? It feels, All right. feels big. Well, here comes Blake. He's just screaming, Lyle. Look at is that drag. Really? It's got to be a nicer pike, I would assume. I'll tell you what, Josh, we, we turned the camera off for just a second or two, and, and he's still battling you, huh? Yeah, he is. And, you know, we're we're fishing bass and uh, and walleye, so I do have light line. I only got, uh, I think I got 10-pound Seaguar Gold label on, but well, it's held up so far. It's a great line. It so. really is, yeah. <laughs> okay, Josh, he, oh my gosh, look at that. Good job there with go. the clam there, Dan Peterson. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that thing. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's ripping that Castmaster, huh, buddy? It is. And that gives you a testament to the gold label. That Castmaster is in there. That line was in his mouth and it never snapped. And well, that's that 10 pound test. Gold label, uh, that Seaguar stuff, man, I'll tell you what, it's the best leader material you can get for the Great Lakes. Oh, it really is. And we caught another big pike up in Canada. It was caught by Wes Paul, one of our sponsors, on the sponsor trip. All right, Wes. This could be a real big fish. Did you see him rip line out of there, Dan? Yeah. 
he just ripped mine like crazy. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, well, just uh, concentrate, buddy. Did you right. see him rip that, almost oh ripped that God. out of the holder? Wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wait till you guys see the size of this northern pike. That yeah. was a fight. That was fun. Did you see him almost rip that <laughs> rod out of the yeah, holder? Yeah, it scared the heck out of me. Oh, that oh. is gorgeous. Well, what do you think of the sponsor trip, buddy? This is awesome. Hey, folks, you got to visit the new Johnsonville Marketplace off I-43 in Sheboygan Falls. It has everything Johnsonville, all flavors of Johnsonville brats, all types of Johnsonville sausages, Johnsonville swag, anything Johnsonville you can find at the Marketplace. And, and all of our Fleet Farm winners today will receive a $50 gift card to the Johnsonville Marketplace place just off of I-43 in Sheboygan Falls. All right, Brian, pick us out the winner in the walleye category in the Fleet Farm Contest this year. Ooh, is that a jumbo. Ralph Hall of Slinger, Wisconsin, caught this 32-inch walleye on Loch Sewell up in Ontario. He was using a jig and a minnow. Beautiful fish, huh? That is a dandy for the big old walleye, Ralph wins. Ooh, this is an awesome prize. He wins an Helix 7 ice locator. But the cool thing about this locator is it's all season, so he can adapt it to use it on his boat, and he can use it on the ice. And that comes with built-in GPS that is also Lake Master Chip compatible. That is a great prize, a Helix 7, and that goes to Ralph Hall. We had one of the most incredible walleye experiences I have ever had up in Canada last year with Danny Herbeck. 10 walleyes over 10 pounds in six hours. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this walleye. My gosh, Danny Herbeck, that is an elephant. It's 10, 11, right? It's a 10 pounder, yeah. Yeah, that is amazing, buddy. Holy cow. <laughs> I actually thought that might have been a rocket hit so hard, you know that? Look at that walleye. Is That's that 31 long... inches? We're going to measure this one just because, but it is a long one. Blake. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to find... This is insane. This is awesome. Oh, my Lord. Woo! Oh, my Lord. He, he fills that entire net. Well, what? You... No, seriously, if you came here all day and only got one bite, it's worth it. I'm shaking. <laughs> and and the, awesome. the Danny, the spectacular color of those fish. This is a heavy fish. <laughs> and let's see who the winner is in the musky category for the Fleet Farm Contest. Look at the size of that thing. Frank Cavanaugh of Braidwood, Illinois, caught this 52-inch musky on Lake St. Clair. He was using a bucktail. That is a giant. Those Great Lakes fish are huge, aren't they? And they sure are pretty. Let's see what Frank Cavanaugh wins for his big muskie. Oh, this is nice. Since he likes to cast bucktails, he won a Minn Kota Tarova. This, of course, has spot lock, and it is an incredible unit. It stands up to everything. They last forever. To, in my mind, Minn Kota is the best trolling motor on the market. So that goes to Frank Cavanaugh. I'll tell you what, folks. We had an incredible muskie trip up to Lake of the Woods in November. My buddy Wes Paul caught two 50-inchers in six hours. All right, Wes. All right, buddy. Good hooks up, Wes. That fish is digging, buddy. That fish is digging. Should he loosen his drag, Pete, or not? Yeah, well, he... All right, all right. Oh, this is so cool, folks. Oh, is that a big... Pull his head in, pull his head in, Wes. Easy, easy, easy. Let's get him, Wes. Yeah! Look at that one. Two fifties in a day. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> Look at that muskie, folks. That is a 52 incher, Pete. That's a big fish. I'll tell you what, Wes. Once in a lifetime experience and twice in the same day. Unreal. Unreal. <laughs> I mean, that thing is big, buddy. That's quite the head. Look oh, at that, that head. Folks, we caught so many muskies on that trip, we let Ryan the photographer set the hook on the last fish. It turned out to be the biggest. Okay, Ryan, I'll tell you what, we've caught enough fish today that you are going to have the next shot at setting the hook. What do you think? Really? 
You ready? Whack em, whack em. Ryan, the photographer! Oh, yeah. yeah, it's Ryan! All right, Ryan, way to go there, buddy! Woo! All right, Ryan, the photographer on the muskie! All right, all right, Ryan. All right, buddy. <laughs> Keep coming, Ryan. Oh my gosh, you cannot believe it. Oh my gosh. How's it going there? Holy cow. Yeah, come on, Ryan. All right. Let's oh, see. oh my gosh. Oh, it's a monster. Oh my gosh, it could be the biggest fish of the day. Come on, Ryan. Get him, Ryan. Get him. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Uh, Give me the net. Okay. Oh, he's oh, on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah! Look at that. All right, guys. Holy cow. Yeah, so what, what do we What do we here. got there, Pete? What do we got? We got a, at least 51, probably 52. Now, Ryan, you know you've watched us fish for many, that many is years. Unbelievable. But tell tell the folks really what a thrill that is. I can't. It's it's impossible to describe just the power. It just feels like you're reeling in the whole bottom of the lake. It's just amazing. Here he comes. Here he comes. Right up out of the weeds. Oh, baby, you hammered it. What a way to start the day. What I love about this new Mickey Acme Tungsten Jig is it features two Mickey ears that are almost like a crankbait bill coming off the front of the jig. What this does is allow it to plane, act like a jigging type of minnow, and as you pop it, it bounces and gives real erratic action. You can see the difference in the action, and that's gonna seal a deal for the fish eating it right now. This is a technique and a jig that fish have not seen yet. It's unbelievable. You gotta get this jig underneath the ice this year. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So John, you haven't heard of Brian's custom steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's custom steps, call 920-315-0333. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, we pick three kids winners each year, and I'll tell you what, there's a multitude of entries, and the only fair way to do this is to pick them randomly. I'm going to cover <laughs> your eyes, and each of these three winners is going to get a $100 shopping spree, a gift card to Fleet Farm. Okay, our first kid winner is Brady Lopnow of De Pere, caught a 37-inch Northern on Lake Onalaska. Enjoy your $100 gift card. Okay, keep your eyes covered. The second kid winner is Lucas Hansen of Rochester, Minnesota. Caught an eight inch largemouth bass, but this was his first fish ever. So he gets a $100, $100 Fleet Farm gift card. Is that cute? He looks like he'll be a Fleet Farm fisherman for life. Okay, eyes covered now. We're going to get the third kid winner in the Fleet Farm contest this year. That is Owen Connors of Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Look at that, he cut that 48 inch muskie on Pewaukee Lake. I'm amazed he can hold that fish. And that's not very far from here. No, I'll tell you what, that is a beauty and a $100 gift card. Hey, thank you, my friend. Happy New Year to you. Uh, a great year. I'm proud to represent Fleet Farm for the last 23 years. Well, thank you, John, for everything you do for us as well. We appreciate it. Okay, buddy. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish at. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods.